Hello, my name is Ambassador Professor David K. Ewan from Inspire. I welcome you to the program. Let's talk about what we'll be doing today. We're going to be announcing the PACE Institute, which is a new channel for scientists. It is related to people who are astronomers, astrophysicists, um, and space explorers, and anyone that is part of that industry. There's a reason why we're starting that, and we're going to get to that very soon. Again, it's called the PACE Institute, P-A-A-S-E. And what that represents is professionals who are astronomers, astrophysicists, and space explorers. And we're going to be talking to them and taking what they know and bring it to you. Again, astronomers, astrophysicists, and space explorers. That is the PACE Institute. What we will be doing is we'll be doing podcasts from phone interviews or from Skype. Uh, we'll also be doing online video pr presentations. We'll be connecting specialists globally. We'll also plan to have a small dinner celebration in the Boston area in 2021 for a special event. Our goal is to understand the history of discovery, recognize today's great work, and predict future outcomes. This is the mission of the Pace Institute. Here's a historical understanding of reaching the stars in the modern era. In 1957, we had the world's first artificial satellite. In 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth. In 1969, Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. In 1973, Skylab was launched. In 2000, we had the first crew on the International Space Station. In 1981, the Space Shuttle Columbia was launched. In the year 2000, Blue Origin was founded. And Blue Origin is founded by Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. And in 2002, Elon Musk founded SpaceX. And in 2019, the United States Space Force was founded. But before we could actually get into space, so much space exploration happened. We've reached for the stars before all of that. During the 1930s, it was noticed that there was a radio hiss that varied on a daily cycle and appeared to be extraterrestrial in origin. The 21 centimeter line, which is 1420.4 megahertz, was first detected in 1951 by my father, Harold Doc Ewan, and his thesis advisor, Ed Purcell at Harvard University. After 1952, the first maps of the neutral hydrogen um, spectrum in the galaxy were made and revealed for the first time, uh, showing the spiral structure of the Milky Way. It is responsible to mark the 70th anniversary of such a foundational discovery of one of our modern understandings of the universe. You see, the hydrogen line, or the 21 centimeter line, was discovered in the year 1951 during Easter weekend. And in that year, it was in March. Well, the 70th anniversary is in March of the year 2021. So there's a lot of preparation to get ready before that special event. In the same spirit of my father's can-do attitude, we move forward with a program to give recognition to all scientists, not just my father, but all scientists that never gave up to achieve success in great discoveries. That is what the Pace Institute is all about. Again, these are professionals and professors in astronomy, in astrophysics, and space explorers. That is what the PACE Institute is all about. My name is David Ewan, 
And this is Inspire.